The last data passing method that we are going to talk about is the temp data. Now, temp data compared to view data or view back, which only persist for the current request and the data is lost after the response is sent, the temp data persists across two consecutive requests, which makes it ideal for the redirects. To better understand this concept, let us go to Visual Studio. And in here in the URL controller, I'm just going to create another action. Let's say public I action result. Let's say this is named create where the user is going to pass as a parameter the, the long URL. And then after the URL it's shortened, let's say just shorten. Var shorten URL is equal to short. So let's say you just shortened the URL. Now you want to pass the success message to the index. To pass the success message, you can use temp data. And the key is going to be, let's say, just success message. And then successful. Now, after you have set the temp data, you can just return, redirect to action, and then redirect the user to the index action. Now, when you navigate to this action, I'll just remove all this data. It means that you have access to the temp data because it's just a single redirect, so you still have access to the temp data. So for that, you can just, if the temp data success message is different from null. So I'll just copy this value, just paste it in here. So it's different from null. Now in here, if you want, you can either pass the value to a view bag dot success message is equal to the temp data and then dot to string. Or you can directly use the temp data in the view. Other than the temp data, just so you see that the view bag and the view data do not store their value after a single action. I'll just type in here view bag dot test one is equal to test one and view data dot test two is equal to test two. So we have view bag dot test one and then view data of course it does need the parameter like this. And then this has the test two. Let me just type in here var temp data is equal to let's say the temp data var and then view bag is equal to view bag dot the test one and then var view data is equal to view data and then test two. I'm just going to run the app and I'll put a breakpoint in here and then I'll just run the app. Now that the app ran successfully, I'll just go to URL, but now not index. I'll just go to the create action. And you can see that the create action was executed and then it did redirect me to the index action. In here, I'll just continue and you can either step over using F10 or just click this button up here. Let me check the temp data. The temp data does seem to have the value successful. Let us check the view bag. You can see that the view bag is null and the view data is null as well. So as you can see, the data 
persists between two actions. And now I can just go to the index.c sharp HTML and add this condition in here. Just remove all these parts. Can add in here. So if temp data is different from null, then I want to just show in here h3 success and then simply show the temp data dot to string let's add the at in here because this is c sharp code save the changes i'll just restart the app then i'll just go again to url and then create Press enter, I'll just remove the breakpoint and then continue. And you can see in here that we have the success message. For now, this is all about passing data from a controller to a view in ASP.NET MVC. And you'll learn more about these concepts as we progress with our app. You are also going to learn how to pass data from a view to a controller. But first, let us create the controllers and all the views for the app and add designs to them using Bootstrap so we can start adding some logic to the app.